Hey, how you doing? I just got in a Samsung Galaxy S7 Active that I got as an upgrade from my iPhone 6 on AT&T. So I think I want to unbox that today and see how they compare if you were going to use it for vlogging yourself for a YouTube channel. Okay, so my Galaxy S7 Active came in just now, and I was gonna wait till tomorrow to make this video, but then I would've had to wait till tomorrow to get my new phone going. So I'm gonna unbox it for you guys today because YouTube likes unboxing. I still haven't understood that phenomenon at all, but we're gonna open it. Um, part, sorry if I don't uh, waste a lot of time. Gosh dang it, showing you what's in the packaging and stuff. I kind of have never really cared about that whole part of it, but I will still show it to you, don't worry. Here is the box that you get with the S7 Active. It looks like a box. It's got box-like features for sure. If you're wondering why I picked the Galaxy S7 Active over the regular, I just broke that, the regular S7 or uh, something similar, that'd be because one, I break a lot of phones. Like I've broken a lot of phones in my life. I don't know how my iPhone 6 that I have right now has actually survived. Considering how many phones I've broken in my life, it is a miracle that this phone <laughs> is still alive. He's been great, so we'll put, him, we'll put him right there for the time being. So I picked the S7 Active because it basically has a rugged case built onto it already, and it has insane battery life. Oh, also, external storage. You can put an SD card in this thing, and then when I'm filming vlog clips or whatever, uh, on this phone, it fills up so fast. This one, you can film all day, bad boy. So it looks like we get a quick start guide, which I don't care about. Here is the S7 Active itself right here. So let me get the plastic off of here real quick and I will show you guys what the phone looks like and how the size compares. I know a lot of you probably have an iPhone 6 and you might be curious about the size comparison. So let me get my iPhone out of its case. I have to have a battery case for this thing because it dies at the like halfway through my day when I don't even look at it. It's, it's gotten so bad, I don't know why, but anyways. So here is the S7 Active, you can see it there. Uh, looks great, it's got the rubberized corners, nice big camera. The camera is one of the main reasons I wanted to get this, actually. Here is the iPhone 6. It looks like an iPhone 6. You all know what they look like, you've seen them before. So side by side, you can see, let me get this lined up here. It's a little taller and a little thicker. But it's got a case built into it already, so you don't have to try and get a case. It's definitely taller, you can see right there. All right, so other than the phone, I have a SIM card, which I think I'm just gonna use my SIM card for my iPhone, so I don't need that really. Here's a charger that says adaptive fast charging on it. I have no idea what this adaptive fast charging thing is, but maybe the phone charges faster than normal. We have a little USB connector here, which I'm not really sure what that's all about. It is a mini or micro, I'm not sure, USB to a, a full-size USB, so I, I don't know why we have that. And a charging cable. This will be one of my first Android phones I've ever had in my entire life. I've been an iPhone guy forever. Why? Just because I'm basic, I'm a vanilla white guy who's boring, and I just get the same phone I've always had. So let's see if we can get the bad boy started up. Please be charged. Yeah! S7 Active. Very cool. I was worried that it uh, it wouldn't be charged and then this whole thing, I would have to come back and do this in a little bit. And when I'm already out here sweating, I do not want to come do this again in a little while. In the hand, it does not feel too big. I was worried it was gonna be so big because it's an active one, the rugged one or whatever. Uh, let me get all this setup stuff done. I'll be right back with you. All right, so here we are on the Samsung Galaxy S7 Active, the front camera. Not the back nice camera, this is the front camera. Uh, I know that there's stabilization built in on these, which is one of the reasons I wanted to do it, and I don't know how to turn it on yet, but I'm just walking around to see how this looks, and I'm walking and turning and talking. I have absolutely no idea where the microphone is, so there's a great chance I'm covering it right now, and you won't be able to hear any of this, 
but this is the front camera. So now let's look at the front camera of the iPhone 6 under the same conditions. All right, here's the iPhone 6 front facing camera under the same lighting, same everything. The camera looks great on iPhone. The thing I don't like is it's a it's not as wide. My main vlogging camera is a Canon S120 that I keep in my pocket all the time. One of the main reasons I wanted to get a cell phone that can vlog is so I don't have to have this in my freaking pocket all of the time. But I get used to that 24 millimeter lens of that. That guy is riding a freaking four wheeler in his backyard. But yeah, so this is the iPhone 6 uh, front facing camera. It still looks pretty good. Doesn't look as good as the S7, I don't think. I'll have to look in the computer, but looks pretty good. Let's try the back facing camera of the S7 Active. All right, and here is the rear facing camera on the S7 Active. I hope that it's framed well right now. Like right now, whoever's standing over there can see what the frame of the shot is, and I can't. So I can't decide if I should use the this camera, which is supposed to be a little nicer, or the front facing camera so I can see what's happening. You guys let me know what you think about that. Uh, tell me which one looks better, which one sounds better. Uh, I have to hold this one with my left hand. The other way I was holding it with my right hand. Uh, I did check in between shots and saw that the image stabilization is turned on. So there should be a little less shake than you were seeing on the iPhone 6, which does not have stabilization built in. I don't know that I expect too much out of the stabilization built into a cell phone in the first place, but it'd be nice if it was pretty good. Also, when I was going through the menus, I noticed that this phone shoots in 4K, which I had no idea about. So we'll definitely do a test shot of that. All right, so this is what the S7 Active's rear-facing camera looks like. Now let's check out the iPhone 6. All right, here is the rear-facing camera of the iPhone 6. Not the 6 Plus, not the 6S, just the plain old 6. That's what I have. One big thing on the iPhone is you run out of space super fast if you're me and you buy the cheap iPhones. Also, I don't know if you've ever plugged your iPhone into your computer and tried to find a video file or a picture but it's laid out super confusing i'd much rather have an sd card i don't know why apple won't let you have an sd card but they don't but anyways i'm walking i'm talking hopefully you can see a difference in the stabilization but i'm not trying to make my hand shake i'm not going to bias the test uh, i really want to like the s7 better but if this one looks better then it just looks better but yeah this is the rear facing camera on the iphone 6. all right and just for kicks and giggles i wanted to throw a clip from my main vlogging camera in here just for comparison purposes i know it's not fair because this is a camera not a phone but this is a Canon S120 it's an older camera but I still really love it the stabilization is awesome it's only 12 megapixel but it looks really really good and the mics are good everything's good on this camera if you need a vlogging camera highly recommend this but I just wanted to throw this clip in there for a quick comparison all right and just to be fully completely ridiculous here is a shot from the Samsung S7 active shooting in 4k I don't know that you'll be able to tell any difference because it's going to be shot in 4K and then down sampled to 1080p. In theory, that should be very sharp. That should be a very sharp image. I don't know. Does it look sharp? I have no idea. I've never shot in 4K before in my freaking life. I ignore 4K cameras. I just don't care about them. But this has it. I had no idea it would. So there you go. This is what 4K looks like on the S7 Active. All right, so initial impressions about the Samsung Galaxy S7 Active and reasons why I chose it. I covered this at the beginning. I'd like to cover it again here. It is drop proof, pretty much. Uh, I probably just broke it. It's fine. It's got these rubberized corners. It's got double thick glass from what I understand or some kind of thicker glass on it. The camera is better. The battery life is insanely long. It has built-in image stabilization. It takes SD cards. If everything goes well, this could replace my Canon S120 as my main vlogging camera. Now, I get a lot of shots with my Canon S120 where I like to sit the camera down somewhere, just sit it down and then go walk or do something stupid. It's stupid, yes, but I do it a lot. So I don't know that I could do that with this camera because you can't just sit it down. It's gonna, it's gonna fall over. So maybe it could just be like a secondary camera, one that I always have with you. Uh, I know you've probably heard this quote before, but people say that the best camera is the one you have with you. So I bought this phone first and foremost for the camera. I have no experience with Android operating systems. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. Some of you guys might be thinking that this is kind of a weird video for me because my channel has pretty much always been gaming videos. It's, it's centered around that and it's not that's not changing. But I'm, I'm very interested in cell phones and cameras. Those are two things that I'm a total geek for and I'd like to branch into doing some videos for those things in my spare time. This was an extra video for today. I posted a gaming video already today. This has been an extra video. So don't worry, those videos aren't going anywhere. Uh, you'll get games and me yelling the word piss over and over and over. But I kind of want to do some tech kind of stuff because I'm not going to be able to do video game videos forever. When I'm 45, I mean, 
that's gonna be kind of weird, right? Let me know if you guys were okay with this video. Let me know what you thought on this versus my iPhone 6. Which one looked better? Which one sounded better? Should I use front cam? Should I use back cam? Is 4K even worth it? I need your help because I am so indecisive on stuff like this. Just ask Megan, ask my girlfriend, she will tell you. She didn't even want me to get this. She's like, you're gonna hate it. <laughs> and she could be right, who knows. But anyways, thank you guys so much for being here for this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And as always, have a bye five. <laughs>